<laughs> hey guys, so today I'm doing my second empty product. So let's get started. So first product is Soap and Glory's Body Lotion. I go through these so so much because I'm obsessed with Soap and Glory. Next we have Avon's Perfect Wear Makeup Remover. This is an oil base, so it's great for liquid lipsticks like Max that doesn't come off. So be close ups on the screen for you to see a bit of view. Then I've got Fern's Body Lotion. I hated this so so much. It stank so badly. It was like that musky off scent. I don't know. Because it wasn't off. Yeah, the body lotion wasn't off, but it smelled oh I did not like it at all. Then we have Soap and Glory Shower Gel. I think every um empties I have this will probably be shown. Soap and Glory because I love it so much. Next we have our oh, This Was a Dream. It smells so so sweet. This was Fergie's Outspoken Perfume. I don't know how much it was. Oh, 50 millilitres. And surprisingly, I thought Fergie would have like a musky type smell, but it was very sweet. So I love that so much. Then we have Kera Care. It's a liquid sheen, basically. It's a spray for when you blow dry your hair. You spray it and it makes your hair shiny. You're not gonna see many hair stuff because I'm so bad with my hair. Oh look, we had the famous Celebrate from Lush, which I'm so annoyed about because this year they didn't bring it out. And it's a body lotion. It's vegan, it lasted me, it was 20, 225 grams. It lasted me pretty much the whole year. If not, just a little bit under, so didn't use it straight away. And I'm so annoyed they did not have it this year. So, Lush, please step up your game. 20, 2017, please bring back Celebrate. Oh, look, we've got another Lush, and it's Prince Charming Shower Cream. I use in 2016. The 250 grams. I like this, it was very sweet, but I didn't like the fact that it didn't really lather. And I like things lathering because it's like, what's the point? It was just liquid and they just didn't do anything, I feel like. So yes, but for the scent, it's my kind of smell. Next I've got Nivea's Refreshing Toner. This year I decided to buy something else apart from Nivea. Next is Avon's Advanced Styling, oh, Heat Protector. <laughs> you know how long ago this ran out? Have I, how long did it take me to buy a new one? Months, literally months, not a couple months before 2016 ended I bought one and I ran out this like early in the year so yes I'm the person that uses heat <laughs> without protecting their hair next is Herbal Essences Be Strong this smells so so good this was for damaged hair but I don't know if my hair got any better other than doing this you guys are gonna think I drink this stuff <laughs> no I'm not sponsored by them it is another shower gel by Soap and Glory I am so obsessed with these company, like, literally. Oh, next we've got another Herbal Essences. Look at the size of like, the mini version compared to the big version. This is a conditioner, conditioner, a split end protection conditioner, and it was the red raspberry and silk extracts. And this smelled amazing too. I think because I ran at this, I've got this. Oh, we've got some perfume. This was from Next. It's called Ellie Rose. Elu Rose. This was another sweet. It wasn't really my kind of sweet scent, but it was still sweet. As you can tell, I like sweet things. Okay, this is this is the thing I hated out of 2016 products. Maybelline's Dream Flawless Nude, which was a, such a big hype. I want to buy foundations, I buy two because if one runs out, then you've got another one. Well, turns out I didn't like the first one, so it was a nightmare when I had to use the second one. I was like, thank god I've used them both up. I was so so happy. I hated that foundation, I did not like it at all. Next, we have a toner, Missia Beauty Cosmetics. I do not buy to use this because this is hella hella expensive. I checked their website and all the other products are hella expensive, more than like MAC. And I don't think they're that amazing really. Next is 
I know about Avon, advanced techniques, and it's volume. So it's just a volume spray gel, fine hair it says. I don't have fine hair. It's not a spray gel, it's a spray. Anyways. There's no point in showing you this, I don't know why I put it. It's soft and gentle deodorant, soft jasmine. <laughs> Do you hate me? This is another body lotion. So basically I've shown you two body lotions and two shower gels of soap and glory. Look at the size of these. I think that makes sense though. Because it should last you about six months and yeah. Next is a body lotion from Morgan. I don't like. I'm not a fan of Morgan brand. It was first sweet pea body lotion. Next is another Lush product. It was the Yummy Mummy but in the 100 grams. Because it's no point buying Lush stuff if you don't like it. So it's just buy a small version. I so forgot about this. I, I finished this at like the start of the year. Soap and Glory Speed Plant All Day Super Moisture Marvel. I've forgotten the word. I said all that. This is their face moisturiser. Just wiped myself on the face with it. I actually like this. The smell was amazing because it was watermelon fruit. Next is Dove's like tiny ass moisturising cream. Next, shall I take it out of the box? Ooh. It was Gucci's Gucci Guilty Black Perfume. I wasn't really a fan of it because it wasn't sweet, but it, I mean, it was okay to deal with. Next is MUA's Extreme Curl Mascara. This was actually pretty good, not gonna lie. If you're looking for a cheap mascara, you should try this. Okay, Yuzu. I can never say it's right. Yuzu and Coco from Lush. It was a 100 grams one. It smells like chocolate oranges, yes. But this one didn't lava, which is why I didn't really like it. And it's better smelly one, so won't be buying this one again. But yeah, that's a shower gel from Lush. Then I got it's a 360 nourishment Moroccan argan oil leave-in treatment. Wow, I need to step up my hair game because like, I'm nearly ending this video and I've got like only like four hair products. Next is gentle eye remover. Livia. I basically use this for toner when that one was on and out. Next is cocoa butter. I think someone gave this to me as a gift or something because I don't, I'm not a fan of cocoa butter. But basically, it's the tiny ass version of cocoa butter. Oh, look, and there it is. My second Maybelline Dream Flawless Lip. This perfume, I really do not want to let go because I love it so, so much. It's from Next. I'm pretty sure it was called Diamond. Hint the diamond shape. And they don't sell it anymore. I'm so annoyed. But I've got a new one I've been using. It's the Kate Price one. What's it called? It's called Stunning. And it smells exactly the same. And I don't know which one came out first. Like, did Kate Price still next? This next deal Kate Price is. But it smells exactly the same. And I've only just used it. I've had this perfume for months. I have like a perfume stacked on shelves. And I never use them. Because my perfume lasts me like all year. And I've recently opened this and it smells exactly the same. So I don't know what what weirdness that is. You got okay, so I've got a good weirdness body scrub. Didn't like it, it smelled weird. It had peppermint and patchouli in it. It's from Good Works, I think. I didn't buy this. I don't know remember what I got. Oh my god, that smell. That smells so freaking bad. What is this? Oh it's concealer. I think it's from Avon. Yep, so it's bottom Avon because it's just black because it doesn't have anything on it. Avon is good. Okay, this is bronzing powder by H and M. Wow. This was good. From what I remember, it was a good bronzing powder, but I think it was like eight nine nine, so it's pretty expensive considering I've got MUAs and it does the exact, pretty much the exact same thing with cheaper. And bronzers is a hard thing for me with my skin time because bronzers are pretty much the same colour as my skin so it doesn't show up so it's hard for me to find a good bronzer so MUA is quite for a powder one anyway MUA is quite good I don't think I used that much did I think I used that much 
Their perfumes must be from another year because I've got another perfume and I know I do not use one, two, four perfumes in a year. Damn, I must be drinking stuff. This is Britney Spears Secret Fantasy Super Night. I smelled this in the shop thing and I was like, oh my god, I need this. And then I got it. I've pretty much got all Britney's. Up there is my shelf of perfumes. I have Britney Spears Believe, another Midnight Fantasy, and then Fantasy. I never got that. She named one Fantasy and Midnight Fantasy. I mean, the Midnight Fantasy smells nice and sweeter. I think I've got... Have I ever had the circus one? I think I have. The blue one and then the pink bottle. The diamonds on it. Strange enough, I seem to be a Britney Spears perfect fan. Next is Garnier. It was the Missilla. I feel like they say it really funny. I can't say it. Micellia cleansing water. Even for sensitive skin. This is the first one I bought because apparently the small ones are really cheap. They're like a pan. This is the 125 one. I've now got a massive one which you saw from my super job gift idea haul type video. This is bad, bad, bad. It's an eyeliner from Collection Waterproof Bar Stroke Eyeliner. It's like the blue thing and it looks like that. Can I just say, this is waterproof so it dries. No way you get eyeliners and it goes crackly. This is one of them so it's bad. And it's waterproof which makes you think it'll stay on but it doesn't because it goes all crumbly and rubbish. Did not like this. I think in my last um, empties I showed a lot of eyeliners. This time I didn't have that many because I ran out and I, I don't. Couldn't be bothered to buy one. Then this is Max sample version of Full Slashes Extreme Black. I love so much. I want to buy a full version but it's like £19 from Scarra. And I won't even buy like Benefits or Better Than Six on Scarf for like 18. Actually, one of them is 32, I think. So, yeah, I don't want to spend that much on a. You can get like a foundation for that price. That is pretty much it. My empties for 2016. So, I can't wait for 2017 because I'm ready. I've got some empties very soon, which I was hoping to put in this video, but I ain't finished it yet. So, that could be for next year's video. And I'd also like to show you Rimmel's Clear Complexion Translucent Powder, Setting Powder. It went to complete crumbles. This stuff gets everywhere when it does break. But yeah, that is the setting powder. Another thing I want to show you guys is another perfume, but it's a tiny one. And it wasn't even full when I started using it anyway. Like down there, but it is the Britney Spears, of course, the fantasy. Up there, I've got the fantasy, but in a normal bottle. This is like a what is this? A, like a travel size tester type thing. So annoying. I keep like <laughs> ending the video and finding things. I'm like, oh my god, I'm just show you guys. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. What you've got from this is I don't use hair products. I am a safe and glory fanatic. I recently got into Lush, as you can tell by the many Lush products. I use a lot of perfume. But yeah, hope you guys liked it. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.